<laughs> My pleasure. You don't know how unbelievable this is for me here, John. What? This is incredible. I mean, to go what you went through for a birthday present, for a 97th birthday present, you get that. And, and, a couple months later, you're back doing your shit. You know, you're like that Timex watch, huh? You take a licking and keep on ticking. Very difficult. Just walking is difficult. Uh huh. Oh, that looks good. <laughs> Yes, I did. How does it feel for you to be back here after, you know, what happened to you? It's very difficult. It's difficult because I'm blowing. Uh huh. The air is not 100%. You, I tell you what, you couldn't tell that from the last, from what? what? You couldn't tell that from what you just played. Yeah. Uh, you need what you're saying though is you need time between pieces to well, recover. At least, uh, Another week, I'll be fine. Uh huh. Forgetting about the technique, just the fact that you're here doing that. Does that have any. How is the sound? That's important to me. Yeah, yeah, I get that part. We get that. But what's also important is that at the age of 97 years old, you were hit by a car, and here you are a couple of months later, recovered from it, had surgery on it and out on the street playing that horn. Right. <laughs> I'm lucky that I can walk over here. <laughs> and do it all. It's been, it's helpful. Yeah. Makes it easy anyway. Easier. No, that's just amazing. That's an inspiration, John. That's what inspiration is, right there. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
in those beds, probably in the early days of your ordeal, where you thought to yourself, I wonder if I'll ever be out here sitting again playing my, uh, my saxophone. Did that thought ever cross your mind? Or I'm not did, getting what you're saying. Or did you feel like no matter what shape you were in, you were going to recover and play again? Of course. Of course. That's the amazing part. Nothing, Most people would have phoned it in. Nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Nothing's going to stop me. <laughs> Your brain is what does it for you. Uh-huh. Is that beauty box over there, do they have a, a steam room or anything? That's a good question. I love to just go and take a, one of those steam beds, sweat everything out. Remember the, at the uh, St. George Hotel in Brooklyn? Which? St. George Hotel in Brooklyn. Yeah. Uh-huh. They used to have all kinds of sweats there. From the East European Jews, the Swedes, everybody was there. They had a Russian, they had all kinds of rooms. Yep. They had a whole wall of swimming pools. Yes, I know, yes. <laughs> States outside of this uh, upcoming? Thank <laughs> you. 
Instinctive response on their part. It's not socially mediated in any way, you know? Not controlled. They're just, you see what they see in that moment. And what they see in that moment is awe and inspiration. this baby like this was the time between you last picked up that it's, it's and six now weeks. six weeks wow so you had a layoff of say six weeks and it's amazing to me that after a six week layoff you could pick the thing up and pretty much get right back into it like riding a horse I'll tell you the air is difficult yes God, I know what you mean. I have a choice of playing this thing the rest of my life or dying. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Good that's as far as it went. Dun. I ran out of it here. did on that that I never heard before. I never heard it before. Oh, wow. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.